and this is my furry friend Rocky. And uh, welcome to another installment of my Cheapskate videos. Now if you happen to have a little furry friend like my little Rocky here, you probably know that uh, cats enjoy a little privacy when they're doing their private business. So today's video is going to be a way you can save some money on some cat products uh, that you might have in your house. Oh, perfect. All right, here we go. If you haven't had cats at home, you might have something like this. Uh, I bought this particular uh, litter box at a local pet supply store. It cost about 35 bucks. Uh, you can find them elsewhere, 25 to 35 dollars, depending on where you shop. However, I did want more than one uh, litter box. Uh, so I had a few of them throughout the house and at 35 bucks a pop it was going to cost quite a bit of money. So I decided uh, I could do better than that. Uh, and I came up with a similar uh, option that cost less than five bucks. Five bucks and a little bit of your time and uh, you can create something very similar to this right here. This is a uh, approximately 22 gallon a uh, container that I picked up uh, at Walmart for $4.97 a few years ago. Uh, this one has actually already been converted into a litter box for uh, Rocky, but all, I, uh, all you really need uh, is a Sharpie marker and a utility knife. Uh, and actually the Sharpie marker, that's optional. Uh, if you want, you can mark out a location for an opening here. I went according to the other box and I made approximate opening about the same size. Kept it nice and high so he's got to climb over the top so that keeps the high, uh, the high sides that keeps the litter from getting all over the place. Using the utility knife, go over those lines several times until you cut through the plastic and the end result, you end up with a nice private litter box for your cat, high sides, removable lid for easy cleaning, $4.97 at Walmart on sale. I imagine by now they're probably not on sale anymore. But anyway, you get the idea. It's a lot cheaper than spending $35 on a commercially made product that does exactly the same thing. Just to make it easy to slide around on the floor so it doesn't scratch up my hardwood floors, I put little uh, felt pads on here and those self-stick pads make it nice so it doesn't, it doesn't scratch up the floor. So that's my tip for this time around. I've got lots more cheapskate ideas for uh, you folks out there, so stay tuned. I hope to be making more videos really soon. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.